Hello and welcome back to the Watford Way as we react to Watford's uh, interesting performance that they put out for us against Bristol City away at Ashton Gate. Uh, obviously Bristol City themselves were coming off the back of a superb victory against Premier League West Ham during the week. So their confidence would have been high anyway. Uh, and generally throughout the game I felt Watford... Uh, you know, did did well. I think we did well. Um, I didn't think we were exceptional. I didn't think we were terrible. I've seen much worse performances from what this season and in previous seasons just gone by. Um, however, for me, I felt in the second half, we maybe could have got at Bristol a bit more. I think in the first half, yes, uh, you know, we did well to win the penalty and actually well spotted by the referee because I didn't see the incident myself, uh, but it was a clear handball and the penalty, you know, calmly composed uh, and dispatched by Tom Daly Bashuri and congratulations to him because he's having a really good season actually this year. Um, but for me, just a little bit frustrated. Again, didn't quite get the decision to start Mirletta Rajevic. I'm not sure um, that he offers, you know, more than, than Bakun Bio does, especially considering Bakun Bio is just just come back from suspension, he's fit, fresh, ready to go. Uh, you know, I would only utilize him from the off. Uh, and yeah, but then as well made the substitutions in the second half. I would have made back in bio come on around the 60th minute mark. Jamal Lewis, uh, you know, when he come on, much better and much improved than, than what we saw from James Morris today. Um, and I just felt that you know, we might have missed an opportunity today. Now, don't get me wrong, I said in my match preview. I would have absolutely taken a draw prior to the game kicking off. And that's ultimately what happened. Watford walking away with a point, um, still in touch and distance of the playoff positions. Uh, and yeah, we continue our good run of form away from home as well. Uh, I don't want to be too overly positive and confident after this game because, again, you know, Bristol City, they've got some good players, but I still felt Watford maybe could have gave us a little bit more. Um, I think what this game showed is the need for... Uh, reinforcements in the transfer market, especially more so defensively and maybe even offensively as well. Um, but yeah, defensively, again, you know, the same mistakes over and over again. Ryan Porty is out of position, uh, you know, very rash and, and ultimately left a lot of space in behind for, for the Bristol City goal. Ryan Andrews made a mistake as well. Uh, not that I'm trying to dig him out, but he did make a mistake leading up to their goal. Uh, and Jake Livermore, who's been excellent uh, so far for us this season, actually got beaten in the air by Scott Twine. Scott Twine headed the ball past Ben Hamer. Um, and yeah, he beat uh, Jake Livermore in the air, which is, you know, by no mean feat. So uh, fair play to Scott Twine. I thought he had a fantastic performance today on his debut for Bristol. Uh, and fair play to the Bristol fans as well. They are having a good season under Liam Manning since he's come into the club. And I'm sure they're buzzing about their FA Cup win as well. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned, I just feel like Watford do need some defensive reinforcements in the transfer window. Now, Vlerni Jamal stated it's a one-in, one-out policy in regards to transfers. I don't know if that's uh, you know a frustration to me, but you know, are, are some of these players you know up to the level of a team wanting to achieve playoffs in the championship? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. And so, I do feel Watford need to you know look in the transfer market. Uh, and you know, bring one or two players in, especially defensively, uh, and if we can, maybe another striker as well. Because obviously, we have just lost Reese Healy to Huddersfield Town. Uh, so yeah, I'm interested to see how the season develops. Positives to take from the game, of course. I think Georgie Chatford that say had a good game. My man of the match, Tom Deli Bashuri, put the penalty away very well. Um, but yeah, things to work on going forward. I mean, look ahead to the FA Cup next weekend, hoping to continue our run in that competition. So thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to The Watford Way and I'll catch you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.